Hello everyone, today I'll show you a few useful privacy settings that will help you feel much safer, because we're talking about tracking your actions on your smartphone. This means it records what you message, where you send it, what you search for, for example, on YouTube, what you search for, for example, in a certain browser, in settings, or anywhere in any other app. And this doesn't just apply to search, but to the general detection of your device, even by other devices that have nothing to do with your smartphone. And this searching happens constantly and, in addition, has a significant negative impact on your battery life. It's advisable, of course, to check all these settings when you buy a new smartphone, because by default they are all enabled, and they don't work to your advantage. Of course, the only ones who benefit are the manufacturers and developers of certain apps that have enabled all this, because they know your steps, they know what you use, how long you use it, and so on. Of course, all this information is transmitted via mobile data and Wi-Fi to servers. The return message you receive is a ton of ads on your smartphone. And anyway, I don't think anyone would like being tracked. I'll tell you everything now. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So, the first setting affects all text typed on your keyboard. I think each of us uses some kind of messenger like Telegram, WhatsApp, Skype, Viber, or some other app where we chat, browse groups, view important information, and so on. Or even simple messages. When we send something to someone, the keyboard appears. For example, I go to Google Play Market, there's a search option. So, I tap on search, and the keyboard immediately appears. Or, I'll simply go to the standard settings, click search, and the keyboard appears at the bottom. This keyboard has its own tracking features, which it's best to disable. First, you need to go to the standard keyboard settings. Let's go there. Then scroll down and find the privacy section. Go there. And here you'll be surprised. Almost all the sliders will be enabled. All these buttons, they'll be enabled. Well, maybe the last one will be disabled, maybe not. You just need to double check. So, the first setting is to automatically send app usage statistics to Google. I'm referring to the keyboard app, the one we type and send text on, or simply use for searching. What exactly will be sent there? Specific words or simply how much time you spend using the keyboard itself. There are no specifics here, but most likely, phrases related to what you search for, for example, in the browser or on YouTube, are also sent. And based on this, you receive similar ads. So, how does it work? For example, if you search for a specific smartphone model in the browser, statistics are sent with the words you entered. For example, I want to buy a Samsung S26 Ultra, and you'll be constantly bombarded with these same ads for the same phone. So, to prevent this kind of tracking, we'll turn it off, as it also drains battery life. Next, personalization for you. Improve text and voice input based on Gboard usage data and corrected transcriptions of what you say and the text you type. This will be saved on this device. On the one hand, we're warned that nothing will be sent beyond our device, but remember that we had this slider enabled, which sends all this data. So, if there's permission here, why not send what's written here? So, we'll turn it off too. Next, we'll configure the enhancement settings for you. Help Google improve word and phrase recognition using GBARD usage data on this device. Again, this is a very similar setting that also affects voice input. For example, if you use voice input, well, let's say you don't like typing on the keyboard, but you use voice input, for example, to ask something or find something. Or even some people are used to using audio messages, which are sent just like a regular SMS. So, all of this is saved. And again, it says here that nothing goes anywhere, but again, we allow Google to use this data. Firstly, and secondly, here again, these sliders were enabled, which send exactly this kind of data. So, let's go ahead and turn it off. Well, here's the last setting. It allows sending audio messages and storing them on other Google servers. In other words, all this information will disappear somewhere, far away from you. And it's certainly not a good thing that someone else is monitoring and knowing exactly what you type, what you search for on your smartphone, and so on. I don't think anyone would like that, so be sure to double check that this slider is off and that this permission is disabled. The next setting concerns how other devices recognize your smartphone. I'll show you what settings are available and what you can adjust. To do this, 
You need to go to the standard settings and scroll through them until you find the section responsible for your location. Click here. You can, in principle, have geolocation disabled, meaning it's the primary GPS used to determine your smartphone's location. That's how it should be. For example, this geolocation is enabled when you use map search and plot a route, but there are other settings here as well. For example, here's location services. You go here. By the way, notice that geolocation itself is turned off, but if I go here, there's the first setting. It's Wi-Fi scanning. It says here that your Wi-Fi is working even when it's off. Well, it's working for me now, but when you, for example, go outside somewhere, it turns off, you're no longer connected, but in stealth mode, Wi-Fi is still used, and other devices can detect you. Depending on the smartphone model, there will also be a little circle lit up and spinning, indicating that it's constantly searching. On some models, this was specifically removed so people wouldn't think anything was being scanned. But scanning still happens in stealth mode, and constantly. Firstly, it affects battery life. Secondly, someone else could connect to you. Thirdly, why do you need to search for these devices if you can't connect to them anyway because you don't have the password? Now, wherever you go, many people have Wi-Fi routers. Many also have Wi-Fi hotspots and the like. Wi-Fi has a very long range, so you'll constantly be detecting other devices. But it's important that, firstly, you don't waste your battery, and, secondly, that no one can connect to you and mess with your smartphone. Just turn off this slider. Then, use the arrow to go back. Below that, you'll find Bluetooth scanning. If we go there, again, it says that your Bluetooth is constantly on, even when it's off. This is truly terrifying. Imagine going outside somewhere, and these days, almost everyone has some kind of smartwatch, fitness tracker, or Bluetooth headset. Their Bluetooth is turned on, and it detects your location and your device just like that. Yes, other people can't connect to you, but you can't connect to them either. But this scanning feature finds a lot of devices. If you turn off this slider, you don't have to worry. If you use a smartwatch or Bluetooth headphones in the same way, they'll remain paired and work without problems. But this scanning feature will prevent other users from identifying your device and, of course, drain your battery unnecessarily. Be sure to turn off Bluetooth scanning, firstly to avoid draining your battery, and secondly, to prevent hackers from hacking you via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, you need to turn this off. There are actually many other features related to tracking your device. You can check out my channel for other videos on this topic. You'll find a lot of useful information that can be applied to any phone.